Hello and welcome to this strategy guide for Lost Ruins of Arnak. Let's get right into it. First, we need to understand how much are the different resources worth. So gold, explorer, and tablets are each worth one, arrowheads are worth two, and gems are worth three. And whether you look at the campsites or the research costs, the monsters or the exploration sites, uh, these values are going to be consistent and the game was balanced with these values in mind. Also, uh, drawing a card or removing a card from your deck is also worth about one, although uh, it can be worth more than one if your deck has been improved. And cars and boats are worth about one, maybe a little more later in the game when you want to get to these level two sites. All right, now let's figure out what the best opening moves are going to be. So in general, you just want to start by going to two campsites. Um, but before you do that, check to see what items are available. If there is a item that costs one and gives two resources, you can start by buying that. Um, also, if there's items that give you three resources, then uh, you can try and buy those before anyone else gets them. Um, also, there are artifacts that, for example, activate a site, a random site. Um, that's generally going to be worth uh, three value, so this is also a good thing to pick up early. And in the first round, um, it's very good to do research, particularly to research with your book so that you can get a new assistant. So you want to research with your book as much as possible in the early game to get more and better assistance. And if you want to do that in the first round, then you should go to these campsites. And if you want to um, buy more items and artifacts, then go to these campsites. And the tablet campsite can be good later, but it's not that great in the first round. Um, going to exploring new sites, I wouldn't recommend you do this in the first round because um, it's a bit expensive, especially if you want tr to try and defeat the monster. And if you don't defeat the monster, then you'll get another fear card. So can be good later, but not necessar necessarily good in the first round. Um, improving your deck. Especially when your deck is small, you should really prioritize improving your deck. Um, when your deck has you know, five cards, has less than five cards in it, then any cards you buy, are you're gonna draw them next round. So that's uh, very, very good to, to do while your deck is small. Okay, in later rounds, uh, it can be good to explore these sites and fight the monsters. Uh, because it gives a lot of points and also some resources. Um, and if any sites are open, then that will probably be the highest priority thing to do in the beginning of the, that round, um, especially for the tier two sites, because this is just a lot of free resources or nearly free, and you want to get them before your opponents do. And later on, um, it's not as important to keep researching with your book, like say in round four and five, um, because you want to race with your magnifying glass to get these bonuses and to get to the end first to get the most points. Uh, once you do get to the end, uh, you can go back and research with your book, or you can uh, get these tokens. Um, if you do get these tokens, uh, you definitely want to have an even distribution of resources so that you can get the 11 point token, which is by far the most efficient. And also towards the end of the game, um, exploring these level two sites to get two idols uh, is, is very efficient. All right, that's all I have for Lost Runs of Arnak. Let me know if you have any questions. 
or if you want to share your own strategies. And let me know uh, what games you'd like to see a strategy guide for next. Thanks for watching.